Good evening, and it's great to have you with us here on a Monday night. And we begin with late developments today, the worsening horror for a mother and father from Ohio. Their son, who was just returned from North Korea with severe brain damage, has now died. This was the moment Otto Warmbier was returned, unable to talk or recognize anyone after more than a year in captivity. His parents reacting just a short time ago, pointing to the, quote, awful, torturous mistreatment at the hands of the North Koreans that did this. ABC's chief global affairs correspondent Martha Raditz leading us off tonight. He arrived in the U.S. less than a week ago, carried off a plane suffering from extensive brain damage Please. more than a year since the I world the heard his plea for mercy. Please save my life. Please save my life. Please think of my family. In a statement today, his parents say when Otto was carried off that airplane, he looked very uncomfortable, almost anguished. But within a day, the countenance of his face changed. He was at peace. He was home, and we believe he could sense that. But he could not walk, talk, or respond to verbal commands. And today, he passed away, surrounded by his family. Since the moment their son was sentenced to hard labor for stealing a propaganda poster, the warm beers were fighting until he was released. We're thrilled that our son is on American soil, and I'm able to talk to you on Otto's behalf, and I'm able to wear the jacket that he wore when he gave his confession. The family clearly blames North Korea for Otto's death, saying today the awful, torturous mistreatment our son received at the hands of the North Koreans ensured that no other outcome was possible. And Martha Raddatz joins us live tonight. And Martha, we still don't know what caused that brain damage. And just moments ago, President Trump now responding to news of his death. David, he made some brief comments before the beginning of a meeting saying that a lot of bad things happened to Otto while in North Korea, but at least they were able to get him home to be with his parents. The White House also said it deepens the administration's determination to prevent such tragedies, but there was no indication that there will be any response beyond that statement, David, to Otto's death. Martha Ranitz leading us off tonight. Martha, thank you.